Hello everyone, this is Arshida and welcome to my channel Loft Academia. Today we will be discussing IMO International Mathematics Olympiad Class 2 Chapter 7 Pictographs So in this particular chapter we will be working on pictographs. Pictographs are picture graphs. Picto is picture. Okay, and what are graphs? Graphs matlab jo trend batata hai um, ki kitne students hai class mein ya kitne aur kaun se class mein kitne students hai kaun se class mein kitne students hai kis subject mein kitne marks liye etc. So these kind of uh, graphical information or these kind of information is shown using pictographs. So that we will also see in the chapter ahead. So let us look at the topic which will be covered in this particular chapter answer the questions based on the data in the pictograph or picture graph okay so pictograph mein jo bhi data diya hai uske basis pe answer karna hai questions ko okay so let us get started with the chapter the first section mathematical reasoning if this particular rows which is one rows stands for three मतलब एक रोस की वैल्यू है थ्री सो हियर यू हैव हाउ मेनी रोस वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सो हाउ मेनी रोजेस आर देर सिक्स रोजेस आर देर वन रोस स्टैंड फॉर थ्री मतलब वन रोस की वैल्यू थ्री है देन सिक्स सच रोजेस विल स्टैंड वॉट फॉर वॉट राइट सो टू फाइंड आंसर इन दीज काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन Oh, there are two ways. Either you can put ये three के मतलब ये rows के जगह पे you can write three, here three, here ये three, here three, here three, here three. So every rows is three. So अगर छः rows इसको हमें calculate करना है, तो one way is to add all these three six times. Three plus three plus three plus three plus three plus three, right? Which is same as Three, because you are adding three. How many times? Six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is the same as three cross six, right? So that is eighteen. As per the table, it is eighteen. So three multiplied by six is eighteen. And even if you add three six times, you will also get the same answer eighteen. So answer is option C. Next question, which is similar to this, if one monkey stands for twelve, then you have how many monkeys here? One, two, three. Three monkeys stand for what? Which is here? This is twelve. Here it is twelve. Here it is twelve. Again, you can do twelve plus twelve plus twelve. Okay, which is adding twelve three times, or you can also do this in the form of multiplication, which is 12 multiplied by number of monkeys which is 3 okay because what is multiplication multiplication is repeated addition okay so repeated addition kar rahe ho. so either you do 12 plus 12 plus 12 as 36 or you do 12 multiplied by 3 as 36 which is answer which is option c question number 3 if now you can see there are fishes. How many fishes? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 fish stand for 24. Here are many fishes? 6 fishes. Okay. And 6 fishes are basically when they add it together you get 24. Okay. And then there are now 3 fishes over here. 1, 2, 3 will stand for what? So, three fishes is three, right? You can write three over here because here there are three fishes. So, there are two ways of doing this. Ek fish ki value nikal sakte hai and yaha pe multiply kar sakte hai. Now, what does that mean? Six fishes is equivalent to 24. Matlab, six multiply by something is 24. जैसे हम लोग ने यहाँ पे कैलकुलेट किया था। So six multiply by what is twenty four? Six के टेबल में you will see six multiply by four is twenty four, which means 
every fish is equal to four, right? यहाँ पे कितने fishes हैं? Three. So which means you have to do four multiply by three to see what is the value of these fishes. So four multiply by three क्या होता है? It is twelve, right? So you can either do four multiply by three and get answer as twelve. Another method to solve this. यहाँ पे six fishes हैं. यहाँ पे six है और यहाँ पे three है. So which means six का half हो गया three, right? So what is twenty four का half? Twenty four का half is twelve. जैसे हमारा twenty four hour clock होता है. So half है is twelve o'clock, right? So twenty four का half is twelve. Or what multiply by twelve? You will get twenty four. It is two multiply by twelve is twenty four, right? Okay. So which means half fishes, which is three fishes, will be equal to twelve. So we are getting the same answer in both the methods. Question number four. If one, two, three, four, five, how many glasses are there? Five glasses. Five glasses stands for seventy-five. Then two glasses will stand for what? Five glasses are seventy-five. So five multiplied by what is seventy-five? Five multiplied by fifteen is seventy-five, which means every glass is going to be fifteen. Okay, right. So now over here, how many glasses you have? Two glasses. So this will be fifteen and fifteen. So there are again, you can do fifteen plus fifteen and get the answer as thirty, or you can do fifteen multiplied by two and get the answer as thirty, which is option. Okay, question number five and seven. There is a direction for them, which is going to be common for five and seven. The given pictographs. This is how the pictograph looks like. Okay, or isko dekhe, bhot sare information quickly milti hai. That is the reason such pictographs are made for ease of understanding, or or data be proper way me collect hota hai, organized way me. ओके सो ये जो है ये डेटा है अब डेटा क्या है लेट अस सी द गिवन पिक्टोग्राफ शोज द नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स इन ईच सेक्शन ऑफ क्लास टू ये क्लास टू के सेक्शंस दिए टू ए टू बी टू सी एंड टू डी ओके स्टडी द ग्राफ एंड आंसर द गिवन क्वेश्चंस सो द फर्स्ट स्टेप इज टू स्टडी दिस ग्राफ थरोली एंड सॉल्व दिस ग्राफ इमिडिएटली विच मीन्स टू ए में कितने स्माइलीज हैं वन टू थ्री फोर देर आर फोर स्माइलीज इन टू ए बट एवरी स्माइली एवरी स्माइली ईच स्माइली स्टैंड फॉर हाउ मेनी स्टूडेंट्स फाइव सो हर एक स्माइली इज फाइव स्टूडेंट सो यू कैन डू फाइव प्लस फाइव प्लस फाइव प्लस फाइव और विच ऑल्सो मीन्स दिस इज सेम एज फोर मल्टीप्लाई बाई फाइव विच इज ट्वेंटी Here you have three smileys, so three multiply by this five will give you fifteen. Okay, each smiley stands for five students, so three smileys will be three multiply by five. Here again the same thing, three smileys, so the same thing equal to fifteen. Okay, all right. Next one, two D, one two three four five. How many smileys? Five smileys, and every smiley stands for five students. So this becomes twenty-five. So ये जो twenty fifteen यहाँ पे जो fifteen आया है और ये twenty आया है. All this is number of students in each class. क्योंकि pictograph में क्या दिया है number of students दिया है in each section of class, right? So this is how you have got number of students. So Two A is having twenty. Two B is having fifteen. Two C is having uh, again fifteen, and two D is having twenty-five students each. So let us look at the questions on that particular graph. Maximum number of students are maximum मतलब ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा, okay? सबसे ज़्यादा. So maximum number of students are. So we saw two D had twenty-five students. Right, so that is why the answer is option D, two D. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स विच टू सेक्शन हैज सेम नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स ओके सो वी सॉ दैट टू बी एंड टू सी दे बोथ वर हैविंग फिफ्टीन स्टूडेंट्स ईच सो द आंसर इज बी एंड सी राइट सो लेट सी यहाँ पे ए एंड बी दिया है नॉट दी आंसर डी एंड बी दिया है नो सी एंड बी यस टू सी एंड टू बी वर हैविंग सेम स्टूडेंट्स एंड ए एंड सी में भी नहीं किया क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन हाउ मेनी टोटल नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स आर देर इन क्लास टू फॉर दैट वॉट यू नीड टू डू इज द एडिशन सो कमिंग बैक टू अवर पिक्टोग्राफ वॉट वी नीड टू डू इज द एडिशन ऑफ नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स हियर सो वी शुड डू अ वर्टिकल एडिशन विच इज ट्वेंटी प्लस फिफ्टीन ओके प्लस फिफ्टीन एंड द लास्ट वन इज प्लस ट्वेंटी फाइव इन सब को हमें ऐड करना चाहिए फाइव प्लस फाइव प्लस फाइव ओके सो दिस इज फिफ्टीन एंड वन वन प्लस टू थ्री फोर फाइव एंड टू इज सिक्स सेवन विच इज सेवेंटी फाइव सो टोटल नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स इज सेवेंटी फाइव वी गॉट आंसर एज टोटल नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स एज सेवेंटी फाइव विच इज ऑप्शन ए डिरेक्शन फॉर एट एंड नाइन ओके अगेन यू हैव बिन गिवन अ पिक्टोग्राफ द गिवन पिक्टोग्राफ शोज नंबर ऑफ फ्लावर्स पिक्ड बाय फोर गर्ल्स नुपुर कीर्ति अनुषा एंड दिव्या इन्होंने कितने फ्लावर्स पिक किए हैं उठाए हैं या कलेक्ट किए हैं ओके स्टडी द ग्राफ एंड आंसर द गिवन क्वेश्चन सो द फर्स्ट थिंग इज टू रिजॉल्व द ग्राफ ऑलवेज सो नुपुर के यहाँ पे फ्लावर्स कितने दिख रहे हैं वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन बट एवरी फ्लावर दिस पर्टिकुलर पिक्चर इज टू फ्लावर्स सो ये टू 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 ऐसे होना चाहिए विच मीन्स नाइन टाइम्स टू राइट सो विच इज नाइन मल्टीप्लाई बाई टू सो नाइन टू जा एटीन ओके द सेकेंड वन कीर्ति दिस इज नाइन प्लस वन टेन सो कीर्ति हैज टेन फ्लावर्स विद द सेम थिंग एवरी फ्लावर इज टू फ्लावर्स एवरी पिक्चर एवरी पिक्चर स्टैंड फॉर टू फ्लावर्स सो दिस इज टेन मल्टीप्लाई बाई टू विच इज ट्वेंटी सो कीर्ति हैज पिक्ट ट्वेंटी फ्लावर्स अनुषा नंबर ऑफ फ्लावर दीज पिक्चर्स आर हाउ मेनी लेवन राइट so 11 multiply by 2 this is going to be 22 and over here it is 8 8 multiply by 2 is 16 so these are number of flowers which are picked by four girls so now i have solved this pictograph once i have solved this pictograph i will now go and solve these questions question number 8 nupur and anusha picked dash flowers together ओके सो नुपुर एंड अनुषा व्हाट वी नीड टू डू इज दिस 18 प्लस ट्वेंटी ओके सो वी हैव टू ऐड दिस टू लेट्स डू 18 प्लस ट्वेंटी दैट इज 40 राइट विच इज ऑप्शन ए क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन दिव्या पिक्ड डैश लेस फ्लावर्स देन कीर्ति इन दिस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चंस व्हाट आई एम गोइंग टू डू इज द सब्ट्रैक्शन because divya picked dash less flowers than kirti so there some comparison is going on right how much divya picked and how much kirti picked and how many flowers divya picked less okay so for that you see divya is 16 and kirti as 20 so what we need to do is 20 minus 16 which is 4 so divya picked four less flowers than kirti next section direction for 10 and 11 the given picture graph shows the various types of birds in a farm study the graph and answer the given questions so let us look at this picture graph you can see parrots and for parrots you there are how many bird pictures drawn 1 2 3 4 5 6 but every picture stands for 10 birds so which means number of parrots because there are 
various types of birds right which are shown in this so number of parrots over here will be 6 multiplied by 10 which is 60 over here 7 multiplied by 10 which is 70 over here 8 multiplied by 10 which is 80 and over here 4 multiplied by 10 which is 40 okay all right now let us look at the question after solving this picture graph i'm going to solve these questions question number 10 dash is maximum in number so which is maximum in number sabse zyada pigeons right pigeons are 80 sabse zyada hai so that is why answer is option a pigeons are maximum in number okay um how many more sparrows are then than parrot how many more sparrows are there which means you will have to do subtraction okay so sparrows you can get 70 and how many parrots are there 60 so 70 minus 60 which is 10 there are 10 more sparrows than parrots right so which is option b 10 Direction 12 and 13. The given pictograph shows the number of star stickers achieved by 5 children in a month. Okay. So, these are star stickers achieved by 5 children. Ali, Anshu, Joy, Mary, Mona. Okay. In a month. Study the graph and answer the given questions. First, I am going to uh, solve this pictograph. So, every star, this particular star figure, or star picture stands for three stars okay so now Ali has two such pictures which means Ali has two multiplied by three which is six stars Anshu has three multiplied by three nine stars Joy has one multiplied by three three stars Mary has one two three four five five multiplied by three fifteen stars and Mona has 2 multiplied by 3, which is 6 stars. Okay. So, now I have solved this pictograph. Now, I will solve the questions. Question number 12. Who got minimum stars? Okay. So, minimum matlab sabse kam. So, as we can see, Joy got only one star picture, which is 3 stars only. Right. So, the answer is option a minimum sabse kam least which two children got same number of stars okay from the pictograph you can see same number of stars are with ali that is six stars and mona with six stars so ali and mona should be the answer mary and ali no ali and mona yes so the answer is ali and mona Question number 14. Mary got dash more stars than Anshu. Okay. How many stars Mary has got? 15. And Anshu has got 9. So, in this question, you will have to do the subtraction, which is 15 minus 9. So, 15 minus 9 is 6. So, Mary has got 6 more stars than Anshu. Question number 15 to 17. The given pictograph or picture graph shows the number of refrigerators Mr. Sharma sold in September, October, November, December. Okay, so every picture is telling you number of refrigerators. Study the graph carefully and answer the following questions. Okay, September, how many refrigerators were sold? 1, 2, 3, 4. But every block or every square stands for 10 refrigerators, right? Which means I need to do 4 multiply by 10 in order to get number of refrigerators. Matla fridge. Thanda thanda hota hai na fridge. So, um, I will have to do the multiplication to find of number of ref refrigerators. So, 4 multiply by 10 is 40. Here, 3 multiplied by 10 is 30. 2 multiplied by 10 is 20. 
and 5 multiplied by 10 is 50. Okay, so now since I have solved this particular graph, I will now solve the questions. Question number 15. How many refrigerators did Mr. Sharma sold in October? In October, he sold 30 refrigerators. In which month, least number of refrigerators were sold? Sabse kam, kaun se mene me sell kiya tha? So, it is 20, which is November. Right? Which is option A. Question number 17. How many more refrigerators were sold in December? than in November. So, comparison hai, subtraction karna hai, thik hai? December and November. So, what we need to do is December minus November which is 30. 50 minus 20, it is 30 which is option C. Direction for 1820. Okay, for these questions, the given picture graph shows the types of color various children prefer so various children what they prefer the the types of the color okay so some children prefer red some blue some green and some orange okay study the graph and answer the following questions all right so each crayon which is given here is is same as two children okay so now how many children prefers red color? So, let us look at that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So, here you have 16, you know, crayons. So, every crayon is same as two children. 16 multiplied by 2 is 32. 32 children prefer red color because over here what we have been given is preference of children matlab unhe kaun se color pasand hai okay for blue let us find out number of children 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 13 multiply by 2 it is 26 here 12 multiply by 2 which is 24 and now orange is 6, 7, 8. 8 multiplied by 2 which is 16. Okay. Now since I have solved this picture graph, I will go to questions. Question number 18. How many more children prefer red color than blue color? Okay. How many more children prefer red color? More children preferring red color which means 32 Children have preferring red color and blue color 26. So, what we need to do? 32 minus 26 which is 6. So, 6 students prefer red color more than blue color which is answer is option B. Which color is least by children, liked by children? Konsa color unhe bohat kam pasand hai? Which is? 16 because yahan pe sirf 16 students hai jo bol rahe orange pasand hai okay so that is why the color which is least liked by students is orange which is option a how many children prefer green and orange color together so green and orange together so you have to add so what you need to do is 24 plus 16 okay so we need to add them the addition i'm doing so this is 40 so the answer is option a 40 direction 21 to 22 the given pictograph shows the number of books sold by leading bookstore so a bookstore hai usne kitne books sell kiye okay in four different months so january february march and april May. study the given graph and answer the following questions okay so let us look at the pictograph january may number of books are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so there are nine books over here right so every picture 
is same as 8 books. So 9 multiplied by 8 which is 72. Okay. For February it is 1, 2, 3, 4. So which is 4 multiplied by 8 which is 32. Now for March it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 10. So 10 multiplied by 8 is 80. And over here 11 multiplied by 8 is 88. Right? Okay. So now I have solved this pictograph. Now I will solve question number 21 and 22. Question number 21. How many books were sold in 4 months altogether? So what I am required to do in this is 72 plus 32 plus 80 plus 88. So let me add that. 72 plus 32 plus 80 and plus 88. 8 plus 2, 10. 10 plus 2, 12. 1. Okay. 7 plus 3, 10. 10 plus 8 plus 8 is 16. So 10 plus 16 is 26 and plus 1, 27. So the answer which I'm getting is 272 books altogether. Okay. That has been sold in 4 months. How many more books were sold in January than in February? How many more books were sold than, okay, February? In January, how many more were sold? So, that is 72 minus 32, right? So, answer is 40. When you do 72 minus 32, answer is 40, which is option D. Direction for 23 and 25. The given picture graph shows the various types of collection that children prefer. Kya collect karne ko pasand karte hai? Stamps, stickers, seashells, coins. Okay. Study the graph and answer the following question. The first thing which I will be doing over here is to solve the picture graph. So every cylinder, each cylinder stands for four children so let me look at the cylinders one two three four five six seven eight eight multiply by four which is thirty two one two three four five five multiply by four that is twenty okay then seashells one two three four four multiply by four is sixteen 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. For coins, it is 7 multiplied by 4. That is 28. Okay. Now, what are these numbers? These are number of children. Right? So, 32 children prefer stamps. 20 children, they like to collect stickers. So, all these are collections. Right? 16 like to collect seashells and 28 children likes to collect coins. How many children prefer collecting stickers? So, stickers kitne children prefer karte hai? 20 which is option C. Alright. Question number 24. Which type of collection is most popular? Sabse popular kon hai? Popular matlab of course jo Sare bache pasan karte, zada bache pasan karte, um, which means number of children in that particular kind of, um, you know, number of children preferring that particular kind of collection will be the answer. Jahape number of children zada hai. So that is 32. So 32 prefer collecting stamps, which is the biggest number in this lot. Okay, so that is why answer is option A. Question number 25. How many more children prefer collecting coins than seashells? So this kind of question, we do subtraction. Right? So what we need to do is seashell and coins. Right? Seashell is here. Coins is here. So we need to do 28 minus 16. 28 minus 16 is 12. So 12 more 
children prefer collecting coins than seashells. Moving to the next section, achievers section also known as HOTS, which carry two marks each in the question paper. Question number 26. The given picture graph shows the number of balloons sold from Thursday to Sunday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay. And what is it? Number of balloons. That is what is shown in this particular picture graph. And every balloon will stand for one balloon. So every picture is one only. So which is 5 multiplied by 1, 5. 3 multiplied by 1 is 3. 4 multiplied by 1 is 4 and this is 6 multiplied by 1 is 6. So as is, vaise ke vaise numbers are gai haan pe. Because we are multiplying with 1. If the cost of 1 balloon is 10, how much money is collected in 4 days? So cost of 1 balloon is 10, right? So pehle to, agar 4 days ka collection nikalna hai, then the first thing should be done is finding the number of balloons here right so which means this has to be added right so 4 plus 6 is 10 13 and 13 plus 5 is 18 so number of balloons are 18 but every balloon is each balloon is causing is costing but each balloon is costing you 10 rupees right so which means 18 multiplied by 10 will be the total amount of money that will be collected in 4 days. 18 multiplied by 10 is 180. That is option D. Question number 27. Kavya needs some colored paper to complete her school's project. Okay. She bought 12 green colored papers. Kitne? 12 hai green color paper. 15 blue colored papers. 9 yellow colored papers and 18 red color papers. If each this paper symbol is equal to 3 papers, then which of the following pictograph is correct? Okay. So, we have a question diya hai and what is required is to find the pictograph which is same as this information every paper is three papers okay so if she has bought 12 green color paper which means we have to find out ye kitne symbols lagenge to represent 12 okay so 3 multiply by that number will be equal to 12 correct that's what we have been doing in the previous question so 3 multiply by this 3 paper multiply by number of these pictures will be equal to 12 so what multiply by 3 is 12 it is 4 so matlab green mein aise hume 4 aane chahiye 4 pictures aane chahiye of this paper so yahan pe 4 hai yahan pe 4 hai yahan pe 3 hai so ye to answer nahi rahega None of these. Let's see. We don't know as of yet. The next one is 15 blue color papers. So, again, what multiply by 3 is 15? It is 5 multiplied by 3 is 15. So, we is to say 5 hone chahiye in blue color. Okay. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here you have 5 pictures. Here also you have 5 pictures. So, abhi bhi A and B answer ho sakta hai. Now, the next one is 9 yellow colored papers. Again, the same thing. 3 multiplied by what is 9? That is 3 multiplied by 3 is 9. So, yellow ke yahan pe 3 paper ke pictures honne chahi. But yahan pe 2 hai. So, this is not going to be the answer. Yahan pe 3 hai. To iske chance hai. Okay. Alright. Now, next one is 18 red color papers. So, which means... What multiply by 3 is 18? It is 6 multiply by 3 is 18. Yaan pe 6 hai kya red mein? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yes. So this particular pictograph is same as these lines. Ye jo bhi diya hai na? This particular pictograph is same as this. Right? So none of these answer nahi banta hai. 
okay so now let us look at the next question question number 28 the given picture graph shows the number of participants kitne log ne participate kiya so when uh, when athletes are doing running wo participate karte hai so that they can um, you know try and win the competition jaise dance ke jo um, competitions hote hai usme bhi log participate karte so how many such people are participants for the events at the sports meet high jump ke liye itne log hote hai okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 but every heart is five participant so which means six hearts will be six multiplied by five which is 30 right over here it is five multiplied by five because five hearts are there so five multiplied by five it is going to be 25 over here two multiplied by five which is going to be 10 okay so for 100 meter sprint it is one two three three hearts so 3 multiplied by 5 which is 15 and over here for 400 meter relay it is 4 multiplied by 5 which is 20. So these are sports, hote, ye different different sports, hote. track and field events, hai, high jump, long jump, marathon, 100 meter sprint, 4 meter relay. Okay, um, and these are the number of participants who have participated in this. So, I have basically solved the picture graph. Now, I will solve the questions associated with it. The number of participants for which event is same as the total number of participants for marathon and 400 meter relay together. So, for this, we will have to do the addition. Marathon or 400 meter relay ka mila ke kitne participants hai, right? So let us do the addition. So it is 10 participants from marathon and 20 participants from 400 meter relay. So this added together it becomes 30. Or 30 participants hume pictograph me kis me mila tha? It was with high jump, which is option A. Question number 29. The following pictograph shows the number of trees planted by some students. Okay, number of trees. So, yes, are trees ko represent kar rahe. Samaira ne itne plant kiye the. Tina, this, Arjun, Tarun, Rahul. So, these are number of trees planted by them. But each picture is same as four trees. Okay, so here you have one, two, three. 4, 5. So, over here for Samaira, number of trees planted are 5 multiplied by 4 which is 20. Again, 5 multiplied by 4 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 multiplied by 4 is 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Again, 5 multiplied by 4 is 20. And Rahul, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 multiplied by 4 which is 28 okay all right so let us look at the question using the given information find out which of the following statement is incorrect okay so rahul planted maximum number of trees rahul Rahul planted maximum number of trees. So, this is the correct statement. Hai. Not answer to this question. Samaira and Tarun planted the same number of trees. Samaira and Tarun, they planted same number of trees. Yes, this is also correct statement. Arjun planted the least number of trees. Arjun ne sabse kam plant kiya. That is also correct. It is only 16. Tina planted 25 trees. No, this is incorrect because Tina planted 20 trees. So, that is why answer to this question is option D. Tina planted 25 trees. Question number 30. Four children collected some Santa picture cards. So, kitne picture cards hai? Wo yahan pe diya. Kirti, Priya, Shruti, Mishika. And each picture card, so this particular picture stands for 30 cards, right? 
so each one of them is 30 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 multiplied by 30 okay so 6 multiplied by 30 can be done as 6 multiplied by 3 followed by a 0 6 multiplied by 3 is 18 18 followed by 0 180 so 6 multiplied by 30 is 180 so kirti collected how many picture cards 180 okay priya how much priya has collected 1 2 3 4 5 5 multiplied by 30 5 3 is 15 followed by a 0 150 5 multiplied by 30 150 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 shruti is 7 multiplied by 30 7 3 is 21 followed by this 0 which is 210 mishika 1 2 3 4 so this is 4 multiplied by 30 4 3 is 12 followed by a 0 120 so now these numbers are what are the picture cards santa picture cards collected by all these kids okay so now let us look at the question here match the name of the children given in column 1 with their collected number of cards given in column 2 so kirti after resolving this particular pictograph what i got kirti collected 180 so kirti will go to 180 okay so it is 1 to b now 1 to b 1 b most likely it should be option c but let us still look at priya has uh, collected 150 so this will go as 2 to a 1 to b 2 to a correct okay so far it is correct shruti as per that graph is 210 and mishika as per the pictograph it is 120 so 1 to b 1 to b 2 to a 2 to a 3 to d 3 to d and 4 to c so all this is satisfied in option c okay so with this we completed our chapter so i'm going to the table of content and putting a tick mark on chapter 7 that yes pictograph has been completed as well thank you so so much for watching this video till this point in time please show your love and support with your subscription to my channel loft academia stay blessed and stay safe bye bye